All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, starting uh, my video on normal because I actually had a pretty good night's sleep last night and went to bed at one thirty a.m. this time. Uh, I could definitely tell that uh, making sure that you know I give my body you know five, six, seven hours before I actually sleep is actually really good. Um, so, of course, I just been playing Tarkov yesterday, two days ago, and no coding, so I wasn't subjecting myself to any real mentally uh, intensive stuff. So, uh, yeah. So, but you know, today I'll be coding. It's also the weekend, so you know, I usually try to avoid playing Tarkov on weekends because. We already know that's basically asking for trouble. Uh, so hopefully, because today, what was it again? Um, let me see, where is... It's actually it's actually the video after this, but I do just look at the other ones. It's this one. Hold on. Go away. Uh, what? Skip ads? Jeez, Firefox is so crappy. The bringing the play. All right, so uh, this one's actually graphics uh, integration. Which so this playlist uh, that Bracky's created is he does the coding, and this Sebastian Leg guy uh, does uh, the graphics stuff. But I mean, I'm doing a 2D game, so I don't have to actually watch this. But I look at it just to see if he's gonna. I mean, I don't think he's gonna add any new code. But I just want to see, you know, just how the process works. Cause, Sunday, either I will have to do this, or as likely, I have to get someone else that knows how to do this. So uh, it's good. It's good to know. And then it's actually the video right after this, which is in this video we're making uh, an item in an RPG. So I got that, and then after that, I got to work on the UI. Then there's the inventory code. So I assume this is the part where you can swap your items back and forth. Uh, making an RPG new equipment. So this is where, you know, your stuff is... Like, in my game, you can only switch equipment when you're off... Um, off uh, the mission. So, you know, because I'm going to have it different from Tarkov, where, like, it's full loot PvP. Mine's partial loot uh, PvP. So you can't loot people's equipment and stuff. But I'm, I'm thinking you should be able to do something with the person's corpse so that like, you know, even though you can't take their equipment, you still get something of value from it, right? And then like, and the way it works for me is if you survive and you leave without dying, you take one durability. If you die or disconnect, right? Meaning you don't come back or, you know, you just hit the disconnect button, right? Well, you're gonna take a lot of durability loss. So it's like, I don't know, five or 10. And I'm gonna make it so that the repair costs are actually an issue. Um, so I don't because I don't want to I don't because I actually still see people in Tarkov running around with pistols or hatch or, or hatchlings <laughs> and they disconnect. I mean, I don't mind as much because I just loot their dog tag and get free shit. But like, that's really you, know, you really shouldn't be doing that. I, you know, at least when I do hatchling runs, I get myself killed on purpose. So, you know, but yeah, uh, let's see, after equipment, then there's stats, right? Because our equipment needs to affect stats. Uh, and then, of course, enemy AI in combat. And then the rest looks like graphics inter uh, integration. Luckily for me, mine's going to be a lot simple. It'll just be <laughs> it'll just be an enemy sprite just pointing at you and just shooting at you. And, you know, either he kills you or you kill him, you know? Up, up to a certain distance, though, of course. So it's going to be kind of nice. It's going to be kind of nice. Uh, so anyway, I want to try and make this video quick. I mean, it's a Saturday, so not much. Uh, so we'll go over uh, a couple things. So Bitcoin searches for this week is still 13. All right. Uh, eh, not much changes. I did actually, uh, you know, pop on Twitter, right? Uh, real quick. All right. So, uh, and I also caught up on my dissident right website reading. So yeah, it does look like this corrupt, like, I actually now have to get a little worried. Like, this could be a prelude to war with China because people are going to look for someone to blame. And because America is not exactly uh, on staple footing, right? You know, uh, the people who are truly in charge of the world, and especially America, uh, view China as an actual threat. That's why you're hearing so much anti Chinese rhetoric, right? And you're allowed and encouraged to engage in that. But if you name a certain country in the Middle East that you cannot name or criticize, well, you know, notice notice that notice how things are different. Like we're truly run by fucking evil scumbag people. So uh, yeah. So anyway, I retweeted a bunch of stuff from Nick Fuentes. Um, 
And yeah, he actually had a pretty good video about like the future of schools. Like if you're a white person, right, or a white kid, you're actually a minority. And then you're going to be surrounded by like blacks and Hispanics. And then they're all being taught in school about how white men bad and how they killed Native Americans, they killed Mexicans, and then they enslaved black people. And then they're all going to like get angry at you. It's like, shit, I didn't even consider that. Right. It's like they're actually creating racism. It's like, how, like, how the fuck are you supposed to deal with it? But that's obviously the objective. So eventually a small percentage of these white people are going to get very angry and retaliate. Right. And then and then that's what and then, uh, you know, keeps the cycle going. Most people will still be pretty nice about it eventually, but it's that small percentage. And that's what they're going for. It's it's truly evil, devious stuff. But the good news is Trump's doing Medicare for all, apparently. I mean, I haven't been watching his press conferences. The worst of it is over, right? Now I just want to try to get this shit, uh, America, back open. But, you know, uh, it, it's been pretty difficult, especially because Cuomo seems to be... I mean, it's kind of... It's somewhat hard for me to just say that he's just being a fear monger, but I think he just legitimately does feel scared. You know, I can't, I can't blame him for that. And then... Things go south here in New York. I mean, he's the one that gets the blame. Because even de Blasio, as much as I don't like him, like, he's actually not responsible because he doesn't have actual power, right? The governor Cuomo is the one that calls the shots because that's how um, the government structure uh, works in New York State. New York City is actually subordinate to Albany, which is the capital of New York. So Mayor Cuomo does all the things. De Blasio just simply simps and complains like a beta male... Uh, like he's actually even more feminine. He's even more effeminate than women I know. It's like, it's like, geez, you know. It's like talk talk about role reversals. Ah, uh, so yeah, but I think it will be okay. Oh yeah, of course. Before we move on, Nick Fuentes also. I also retweeted all of it too. It's actually it should be on my timeline if you want to really look. I understand why people don't use my Twitter. Like this actually has a lot of crap that I mentioned in the videos. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, we should do whatever it takes to win, and losing with dignity is for suckers. I'm just paraphrasing. It's a two-minute, 19-second clip, but it's very true, All right? You know, and then, um, yeah, so the good news is I think conservatives in general are realizing this, so I need them to realize it faster than do something as a result of it. So, uh, but yeah, the good news is globalism is going to be dead, or at least going to be crippled uh, when this coronavirus shit's over. Hopefully we don't get a war with China, right? Because then, you know, that means all us Asians are at risk now. And then number two, or number three, um, what was the other one? Number three, oh, I forgot number three. God damn it. I was so distracted by the war with China that I forgot what was the other point. Um... I don't know. I know it has something to do with life is being changed, but ah, oh, great. I'm gonna kick myself when I remember, and it's gonna be after I finish the video. Anyway, Bitcoin Dons is at 65%. Uh, 24 volume is very low at 111.6 billion. Um, yeah, so not much uh, happening. Bitcoin's at 67.33, so it's down 1.63%. So after going up a little bit, it seems to be flatlining, but it's also the weekend, so it looks like everyone just doesn't want to do anything. Forty dollars and nineteen cents for Litecoin. Doggy coin, uh, 229 million market cap, same thing. And Steam is holding pretty steady. I also checked the uh, Hive off stream before I started the video. Steam and Hive are the same price, 18 cents approximately. All right, so yesterday was a down day. Uh, hold on, let me take care of the heroes here. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, we can definitely skip this. All right. Um, all right, you know, I'll just leave it. Uh, what it takes to be a leader during coronavirus. Yes. Um, yeah, so yesterday was a pretty down day. I wasn't sure, because at one point it was getting really bad, but it looks like it bounced back up a little bit. But it's basically uh, consistent losses each day. So I've never actually really seen something like that. The only thing that I could think of that was remotely close to that is like some sort of bottom, like a bear market bottom. The problem is the Dow only dropped 33%. But on the other hand, that is fundamentally correct, right? Because we're shutting down the economy. And the longer the shutdown goes on, the lower this thing should go. Uh, and that's the other thing, too. They're cut I still feel, again, that the globalists are deliberately shutting down the economy just to fuck Trump over. And it does work, right? Even though Joe Biden is completely mentally out of it, he's still gaining, right? That's just how retarded this country is, right? 
That's actually why uh, the dissident right website I read doesn't like democracy. It's not that you don't need. It's not that democracy is a problem. It's just like you need you need voter ID and you need to issue an IQ test, right? Because right now, I mean, it's worked out pretty well that any asshole can vote essentially. But even when America was originally founded, they put restrictions on who could vote, right? Slaves could not vote. I don't think women could vote either, right? And then or even originally, they made it so that only white people of good character could vote, right? And I think that, and then they removed the the white people of good character requirement sometime later. Um, let me see. Uh, white people of good character voted because I'm pretty sure that was actually a thing. I know that was. No, I mean that had def that definitely had something to do with. Um, and also, you had to also own property too, right? Or maybe you had to. I forget how it goes, but they had a lot of restrictions. Uh, this is referring to the 1790 Act. I've referenced this before, and then they repealed this in 1795 by the same people. Um, let's see. Once met, well, how, here's how that changed. Of course, then you have your anti-white uh, propaganda here. Um, okay, maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe it only applied to immigration, but I know women couldn't vote and slaves couldn't vote. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, basically we, we just implement some sort of like test and then, you know, you'll be, yeah, that way dumb people who want dumb things, you know, they won't be able to have a voice, right? They shouldn't have a voice because they're going to be dumb. They're going to be selfish and they're going to implement policies that fuck everybody else over. You don't want that, right? Um, but of course, by doing something like that, it's incumbent upon the smart people to have both em empathy and intelligence to, you know, uh, get things going so mm, i don't know it's gonna be <clears throat> i mean i don't know can can america even i'm not sure america can even handle something like that it works in china right because a we're naturally very high iq i think our average iq is like what 115 uh, i feel like a genius but i mean i'm probably an exception right we have an average iq of like 115 thanks to genetics and thousands of years of reproduction and uh, vigorous strict Chinese learning and then number two it's also mostly a homogenous country too so race isn't really that big of a deal because everyone's Chinese so it's like you know whatever <laughs> yeah also our culture is different too so it could so it kind of works in China I, I don't really know if it'll work so much in uh, America but I think a voter ID would work um, and some other requirement right I don't know if you can't do intelligence like I don't know, but definitely voter ID at least. Mm. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to. I will have to think on like what the next, uh, what the second requirement's going to be. So, anyway, uh, recession bread lines are forming in Mar-a-Lago shadow. That's hilarious. Why Americans should think the doctor fight. The only reason why this even matters is because it belongs to Trump. So obviously, it's all about Trump bet this, Trump bet that. Also, they have something here where it says Facebook is blocking a million accounts a day as if this is a fucking good thing to protect the election. Like, you know, these motherfuckers are truly evil scumbags of the earth, right? And I hate the idea that I'm going to have to use Facebook eventually when my game comes out and I need to do paid advertising. Because I think Facebook paid advertising is probably better than paid YouTube or Google advertising. All right, because I'm specifically going to target uh, Zoomers and then basically I'm going to definitely target anyone from the age group of, say, 15. I mean, my game's going to have curse. It's basically going to have my personality, right? You put me in the situation of my show, right? In a distant future where, you know, yeah, I don't want to spoil the story, but yeah. But 15 years old, um, definitely males. I don't know. Do I want. I mean, I wouldn't mind women playing the game, but maybe initially I should have men playing the game first. I mean, actually, yeah, I mean, it's going to be really expensive, right? So I should just restrict it to the men for now, and then eventually I could get the women to come in later, right? You know, so 15 to, I don't know, 49. I mean, the problem is, is towards, like, the late 40s, I start worrying about, like, the boomer mentality, because my game is not for boomers. Uh, so I do want to avoid that. So, yeah. Anyway, before we move on, there doesn't seem to be the doctor find coronavirus in his own special way. Yeah, so basically nothing really new up front. Uh, Rebel's just taking a massive hit. I kind of don't know why, but I mean, I, it's also because they declared a dividend, which is surprising. And um, I guess I guess the markets don't like that. Um, 
But uh, as I said, I mentioned yesterday, 50 cents to a dollar, but we're going to have to look at uh, bankruptcy risk. Like, I definitely will know for the future to uh, not do this again. Um, one day ago, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, we already looked at this already. All right, I guess we'll take a look at what this is. We're at 15 minutes. Uh, you know, let's do that. Part of your browsing, uh, I think you're a bot. Oh, that's because I'm using a, uh, oh my God. Uh, okay, so you know what? It's an SEC fine, so I don't really give a shit. Um, all right, so anyway, I guess we'll just find out in the next few days. Somebody will, smart will read it, and then they'll just write a nice little article, probably on Seeking Alpha, and then we'll look at it then. <clears throat> but yeah, I didn't see, oh, uh, Ramel going bankrupt or something like that. JMC coins at six to seven, so nothing new. 404, nothing new as well. Six to seven. In fact, the buying pressure has increased dramatically. Two by two coins at 58 to 60. It's actually 57 to 60. Actually, yeah, if 404 continues to be pretty stable, I guess we won't have to do a swap for the time being. All right, we'll just let the difficulty keep rising. Because so far, the difficulty increase seems to be working pretty well for two by two coin. Uh, we'll have to see though. Um, actually, it's been very stable, so uh, we don't have to see. We know what that is. Um, how long can keep this up, though? Well, yeah, again, we'll see. Uh, compound coins at seventy five oh five to eighty four twenty five. So nothing new here. So very stable, very nice. Uh, Bitcoin. So I don't think there's anything new with Bitcoin. Bitcoin bulls could eat a hold as optimism returns one hour ago. Uh, Bitcoin price struggling to break here's the worst case scenario. All right, we'll just leave that over there. Uh, Swift challenges Ripple, Visa, FinTech, uh, blah 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 blah. The national payments network Swift has another major push to bring instant payments to blah. See, this is why crypto is good. Now, now instead of waiting five days, everyone will get their money instantly. High profile crypto whale says Bitcoin, the cross is predictive, it predicts massive economic shock waves are happening. Yeah, of course, we already know that. Pressure test, I say Bitcoin bull on flat. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's double in six months. Oh, uh, yeah, so this Nova Gratz guy has been spamming, like, well, I'll, I'll buy Bitcoin, buy crypto. Now he says in six months, I might dump all my crypto. And it's like, you know, fucking idiot. Yeah, see, that's why I always just never trust any of these people. All right. But. You know, uh, if you're going to tell everybody, hey, I want to go all in and like get everyone else to do it. It's like, yeah, but just be prepared to leave in case we need to dump everything. It's like, I don't know. This just this, this just sounds really sketchy because this guy is literally like ultra hardcore Bitcoin bull. At least for me, I tell everyone, yeah, we're going to hold for a long time and then we'll dump later. Right. You know, you know, from the get go that I'm just in this for. I guess the long-term trading, I guess that would be the closest thing, right? You know, I wish I did the same thing with fucking stocks, then I wouldn't be in the position that I am in, right? Trying to make up $35,000 in losses with fucking Rimmel, right? But, you know, that's just how I learn. I mean, as long as it doesn't go to zero, right? And everything eventually does recover, you know, get my money back. Plus a lot of extra profit-ish. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, thirty-five grand is a lot. And that only puts me back to where I was if I did nothing, all right? Because I got like 20 grand worth of dividends over the past couple of years from MRRL. Uh, I, I, my numbers are probably even lower than that too. So it's like, oh God, all right? So anyway, uh, I do want to look at this too. All right, let's see. Flash crash. Uh, I'm only interested in one hoard. 40% of the circulating supply is like last month's price crash. Yeah, so basically everyone who's holding is still holding. That's nothing new. Uh, don't really care. Blah, blah, blah. Untouched supply. Okay. Uh, bounce off the vein. Of course, hash rate goes up and down with price of Bitcoin. Yeah, we already know that. All right, yeah, there's nothing new here. So Swift is pushing back uh, to small, medium businesses, uh, global leader to all the stuff. Swift has endorsed ambitious plans uh, for support and rich, faster, and smarter. Swift will enable transactions to move instantly and frictionless from our account anywhere in the world across the end-to-end -end payments chain. 
uh, will support financial positions to da, 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 Vice President Gold Coast CEO Andy Schmidt says the move is likely the most significant you know, for Swift since so even Swift is already ahead of the curve because in Europe apparently everyone uses Swift right here in America we just simply use the Federal Reserve our Federal Reserve is so fucking slow right you know and America wants to start a war with China right we can't even fucking send people money <laughs> it's like yeah it's like how, how does that work right yeah because i bet if this was china and china had to do an infusion of cash everybody were, every single person in china would already have their money within like fucking three days probably right and, and if they didn't if it didn't work then china would just order their cops to like start like fucking beating people up if uh they were for some reason withholding shit all right in 2019, white paper on small business payments, San Francisco crypto, da, 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 opportunity. Okay, yeah, I don't really care. It appears Switch News Show will be underdeveloped for the next few years. Plans to be implemented payments expansion by the end of 2022. Oh, of course, it's another daily hold shit article. So it may, it may sound like they were doing it now, right? Has announced a major push. Okay, oh yeah, and then they put the actual important thing at the fucking end. All right. All right, well, whatever. I'll just, I'll still just give them the credit. And I'll just change the title. But you know, if they were, if people were more honest, they really should have put the sentence first. Fear Swift new show we under the next few years. Okay, so the end of twenty twenty two. So basically, yeah, January twenty three. So that's like two and a half years approximately from now. So that's probably when the, the little next World of Warcraft expansion comes out after Shadowlands. Yeah, they really want to get away from Battle for Azeroth very quickly. I mean, it could have been a real. I mean, I didn't really mind it, at least in terms of story. But I think just the way they implemented, like the way you got loot and shit, was the problem. This is such a retarded. Um, uh, let's see. I like this icon. We'll use this as an icon. All right, there we go. There we go. Very nice. But yeah, Trump's. Uh, now he's down to five. I mean, Trump's really going to have to try to open up the economy ASAP, all right? Because, you know, because remember, the further this thing goes down, you know, the worse it gets. I still haven't gotten my government money check yet, so. Oh, well. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. All right, so I'm done for the day. It's a Saturday. Tomorrow will probably be another sh short-ish video. Uh, but for now, everything looks predictable and relatively stable given the circumstances. Nothing crazy yet. And of course, we continue looking at Rimmel. Again, I'm not even going to buy Rimmel until it at least reaches a dollar. Right? Even if it hits a 125, I don't think I really care. Yeah, I'll make an extra doubling on my money. I don't really care. It's like I, I put enough money already. Right? So I, I bought enough shit. Right? And can, given that the risk is, again, predictable and going to get worse because the shutdown c continues, yeah, you know, I'm going to be more cautious. Speaking of which, Coronavirus USA, because I actually have um, the proxy uh, on. So I think I'm in Australia right now. So I got to make sure I put that in. Wear face masks. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. Uh, the Surgeon General asshole. Uh, actually said do not wear face masks. I actually retweeted this uh, as a reminder. Of course, nobody uh, fucking... Oh, actually, someone did. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, so that's actually pretty impressive. Let's see, how bad is a shadow ban? Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right. Well, at least somebody got through. All right, so so here, the Surgeon General, this stupid fuck, said people need to stop by. Mass is not effective in preventing people from getting coronavirus. Well, he was obviously wrong. However, his saving grace was healthcare providers also actually need them because we can't, we need to be able to care for sick people. It puts, so he's actually kind of like in a really bad position. So that's why I'm not going to be too hard on this guy. But, you know, uh, he was even fooled by fake news terrorism. Um... So, yeah, and I have my masks, right? You know, my parents were so overbearing that I would go visit them and give them some of these. You know, the problem is I also don't want to be traveling either, right? Especially on a bus or a subway. It's like, eh, you know, right? Because I don't have anything to wipe anything down with. I'm not gonna use my personal supply of that either, right? So it's like, oh, okay. 
But anyway, I just I have my mask and I reuse it, but I just wash it with you know dishwashing <laughs> soap and I have it dried, kill all the germs. Uh, puts them at risk. Blah 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 blah. But yeah. Uh, but now they're changing their mind about wearing masks. Ah oh, shit. All right. You know what? I'm gonna have to do this. Coronavirus U.S. Um, death toll passes 7100. Again, it's mostly like 95% of the time it's old people or fat people or people with some sort of underlying health condition. Uh, a lot of cases. Yes, because you cases could you rise faster in our countries? Yeah, because we're testing a lot. I don't know what, I mean, the problem is we're so densely packed and we're so fucking open borders that, yeah, no shit America is going up the wazoo. Luckily, we've been able to avoid the problem that Italy has simply because we have capacity. Italy has no capacity. That's because they're literally taking ventilators off of people that need it. And that's why they're dying. Because, again, for some reason, Italy just, I mean, the place that's mostly hard struck is northern Italy. And apparently that's actually where all the conservatives live. The ones who vote for Matteo Salvini. So what I always tell conservatives, always keep an open mind because this is exactly what fucking happens. All right. You know, the liberals are going to outlast you despite having dumber ideas because they keep an open mind and an open heart. You know, conservatives, uh, conservatives don't, specifically boomers. Like, boomers are already a lost cause, but the Zoomers, the millennials especially, you know, now they're changing. So, you know, there's a chance for us. But the old people, yeah, they're kind of screwed. So, you know, uh, because, again, they didn't keep an open mind. Like, oh, well, no, one need, no, we don't need to take care of anybody. Okay, well, then, yeah, now they're getting wiped out. So, <laughs> like Jesse Lee Peterson says, we all get what we deserve. It might sound cruel, but it's the truth. You know, you have a problem with it, go take it up with God. All right, because I live with the truth so that my fucking mom and dad, who are obviously boomers, do not fucking die from this shit. So you think I care about what anybody else thinks or what you think? Actually, I do care what you think. But I'm talking more about my haters and the strangers. Coronavirus live updates. Uh, oh, I already read that already. Uh, 278 confirmed cases and more. 7,000, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we got for New York City? Yeah, I, mean, I know I should end it, but I'll just end it soon. Um, 24-hour jump in coronavirus. Gay deaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next day, sees more burglaries of businesses under corona. Oh, that's hilarious. Burglaries have, have risen under... I didn't even think about that. But yeah, that makes sense. Samaritan's purse helps fight coronavirus. We never thought it would be in the U.S. Yeah, because that's what happens when you're fucking open borders. The XCC 05 COVID-19 one day. Yep. Yeah, we do have a lot of fat people and a lot of old people. So, uh, you know, I expect this number to start skyrocketing. Jokes with sex models during coronavirus briefing. I actually want to... He just can't pretty much joke about being involved in models during a coronavirus... Really? I, I have to read this because this is classic Trump. Which car I will get life saving ventilators? Uh, US, so, New York City and US will start deciding. Um, guy, restaurant, wholesale is early in the public. We'll get through this later during coronavirus panic. Yeah, I have to actually have to start doing my poll, right? Uh, are you frustrated with the shutdown? Yes. Start reopening it even. Uh, um, uh, I won't be able to fit it, but I'll put it in the description. Jokes about hooking up with models during... Okay, so... We gotta listen to this. I will show hundreds of thousands of people are going to die. You know what I want to do? I want to come way under the models. The professionals did the models. I was never involved in a model. But at least this kind of a model. But you know what? <laughs> hundreds of thousands of people... They say, oh, that... <laughs> I want much less than that. I want none, but it's too late for that. But I want very few people. I, I, I need to uh, upvote this. To what the models are saying. Those are projections. I hope they're wrong. I hope we're going to be under those projections. Two questions on content. <laughs> I caught this while I'll see this. I really held up class this man. Had. Yeah, fuck you. I'm going to downvote you. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do. What's worse is a lot of people think this is okay, and of course, it's feminazis constantly. Yeah. This is guys, agrees to face it. What a joke, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, a lot of fucking. I can't use the F word. God, I wish I could have free speech on YouTube. But yeah, a lot of F words just spamming. 
I thought, okay, so that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. All right. Anyway, I'm done. So see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Again, I'm going to wait for a Rimmel to crash to 50 cents to a dollar. Gonna continue looking at just how bad, like bankruptcy risk for you know so, something that's just gonna take me out of the game, right? Because I would still be okay if I wasn't forced to sell my MRL due to UBS's incompetence and forced redemption clauses. Uh, Credit Susie, of course, is much better, but I mean, how how long can that last, right? That's that's the that's the concern or fear if you want to use it. So you know, take a look. But I think so far so good. And here's her thumbnail. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to do my poll right now um, for the coronavirus shutdown thing. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I'll put it up on here, too. So I'll actually make sure I remember. Oh, actually, why am I turning off my proxy? I don't want to be doing that. All right, so I'll believe this open for tomorrow when I open this up, and then I'll make sure to cover it. So, yep, there we go.